A Palm Springs woman is in jail accused of killing her husband by stabbing him more than 140 times. Investigative reporter Terry Parker live with us tonight. Terry, police say Joan Burke was lying in bed when officers arrived at the home. Yes, uh, this longtime married couple have been here for years, and I have just learned that the husband had filed for divorce just two months ago and at stake millions of dollars in real estate and assets that his lawyer tells me could have been a motive for murder. Two months after Melvin Weller filed for divorce, Palm Springs police arrived at his home February 11th to find Weller lying in a pool of blood that covered more than half of the kitchen floor with multiple stab wounds and lacerations on his body. An autopsy revealing Weller had been stabbed 140 times all over his body, and he also had a skull fracture caused by a blow from a meat cleaver to the right rear of his head. Police say they found knives and a meat cleaver in the kitchen sink, a bloody nightgown and a trash bag near the body. And in the bedroom, they discovered Weller's 61-year-old wife, Joan Burke, with cuts on her hands and not saying a word. Her pending divorce, no longer an issue. Out of words as to, you know, exactly how I'm feeling. You know, absolutely, we did not need to, this did not need to happen. This could have been dealt with through the courts and, you know, in the best possible way. Attorney Nicole Hamill Scott was handling divorce proceedings for Weller. She says one item of possible dispute, millions of dollars in real estate that under Florida law would have to be divided. She says she had just had a meeting outlining the terms with Burke's lawyer a week before the murder. That could be, you know, one of the reasons, Terry, as you know, under Florida statutes, whenever there are marital assets pursuant to the Florida law, those marital assets would need to be equitably divided between the parties. And certainly without getting too much into a attorney client privilege, the parties had substantial assets between themselves. And attorney Hamill Scott tells me that Weller was willing to divide the assets equally. He just wanted to go back to his native Jamaica and retire. But she says just a bit ago, they discovered that Joan Burke had allegedly forged Weller's name on the deed to one of their properties and then quick claimed it to someone else. Meantime, Joan Burke remains in the Palm Beach County Jail charged with first degree murder. Live in Palm Springs, I'm Terry Parker, WPBF 25 News.